when God created us, he created us for himself. So, so creation was a way by, in which God was inviting us to himself. We couldn't come to him because we are not existing. So when he brought us from non-existence, he brought us so that we can come to him. You see, creation has this one direction, and to God, created to God. So when God created Adam and Eve, it is basically, as we look in Genesis, he creates Adam, he sets him there, and uh, of course they commune, they talk. But why is it that Christ did not create Adam and Eve like he did with animals? Because if he had done that, then Adam will see Eve and see God and Eve will see Adam and see God, and there'll be confusion. And then the, you wouldn't know whether it's for God or for Eve. Uh, I, mean, they, I mean, we are all here, three of us, so you created us, and I mean, it will create conflict of God. So no, 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 so that there's no competition here. I'm going to create Adam alone, and it's just the two of us, because you were created for me, so let's talk. He looks around, he doesn't say anything, it's God. And the animals, that's not a choice, so I stay with God. I'm, I've been created for God. Now God must create Eve. What is he going to do? Because Adam is alive. He kills Adam. Adam, you must not exist because Eve will be confused if I create her and you are, and you are there also. He will think that maybe you had a part in her, in her creation. He will think that you, 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 Adam, were created for her. That's why I had to create you after creating Adam. That where you were created for this one. This is where you get your life. So I'm going to kill you so that she can have life without you. And so Eve, Eve exists, and Eve, the first person she sees is God, and not, and not Adam. So there's no confusion. Imagine Eve opening her eyes, and she sees God and, and Adam. He says, who created me? Eh? Who created me? You guys don't confuse me here. Who created me here? It could, I'm sure it's you. It's you, Adam. So he'll be, she'll be trying to do a research. Who created me? But there was no need for a research because there was no one. It was God. And if, and so God stamped and endorsed, authenticated Eve's existence created for me, not for Adam. And I've said to young people, the problem with us is we see each other before we see God. And then by the time we see God, we are already gods to each other. And God is the fuel of our relationship. So what does God do? So he, not only did he make sure that Adam was not involved, he made sure that he's far away from him. So he takes Eve to Adam. So Eve is fine. I know some of you have said, but God had said, it is not good for men to be alone. Yes, that's what he said. He didn't say it's not good for men to be lonely because Adam was not lonely, he was alone. And when you are alone, it does not necessarily mean that we need a wife. He was alone because it was him as a human being and animals. He's alone. Now, I've heard people who want to get married looking for a, a, a biblical reasons why I, I should marry because even God said to Adam, it is not good for men to be alone. You are not Adam. There are so many people around. You are not alone. Yeah. <laughs> that was for Adam. He was alone. You are not alone. You've got your mother, your father, your brothers, and your sisters. You're not alone. Where do you get the whole idea? <laughs> now, now, but then some others read lonely. Adam was not lonely. Adam was alone. Loneliness is a psychological condition. You, you are lonely in a crowd. You can be lonely in marriage. You can be lonely in the church. You can be lonely in the stadium. You can be lonely in a group. Adam was not lonely. He was just alone. You can't be lonely when God is with you. 